Remember, this is the Energizer. Even though it's our warm-up, it can be done alone any time during the day. Okay, let's start by looking at our posture. Quick check. Feet shoulder width apart. Now your knees are soft. Let's start by rocking the hips forward and then back to midpoint and hold them there. And the shoulders, you want to pinch them together. Pinch those shoulder blades together and release them about an inch. Same thing with the head. Jut it all the way forward and all the way back and find a neutral position. And now with the feet, let's rock back on the heels and forward on the toes and stand squarely on that midfoot. Okay, with that in mind, let's do some deep breathing. And I want you to think about breathing from your abdomen. Here we go. That's seven and eight. Breathe it up. And again, inhale up. Now I want you to think about using the back, full lung capacity. No shallow breathing here. Reach again. One more time. Now reach that rib cage off your baby. Keep it going. Give me two more. Now the last one, let's take one deep breath for the baby. And then we're gonna march it out and start to energize. March it. Okay, now it's really important that when you're getting energized, you start out nice and slow. You want to pick up the circulation of your body. You want to lubricate those joints and warm up those muscles. Reach to the ceiling and up, up. Exhale out again. Reach it up and up and exhale out. Two more sets. Reach it nice and high. Up. Exhale out. Last set. Up, up. Now we're just going to step side to side and side. Another eight. Now keep those hips square. Don't rotate them side to side. And five, six, step touches. Here you go. Take it. Step, touch, step, touch. Nice and easy. To get warmed up, you need to use those legs. Make the motion a little bigger. Four more. Now we're going to do the same move, but take it forward and take it. One, two, three. Now side to side. Hold it here. Take it back, and back, two, three, side to side, hold it here, hold it again, and clap it out, you got it, side to side, hold, take it back, side to side, okay, going forward again, but big arm circle forward, take it forward, picking up the intensity slightly, side to side again, Arm circle back and back. Two, three, now side to side and side. Last time forward. Side to side. Back again, back. Okay, let's go into a lunge. Keep the knees behind the toes as you lunge. This will prevent any knee problems. Also, keep the knees and toes in alignment. And up, down, again. Reach it up, up, give me two more sets. Last time, reach it nice and tall. Let's do the same thing on the other side, starting down and down. Take it down. Two more sets. Last time. Back into our lunge, a little deeper this time. Lunge, side to side. Now we're going to start into a back sequence. Let's hold them. Keep still and warm up the shoulders. For those in advanced months, you may want to stand up a little straighter. Simply adjust your hands higher on your thighs and don't bend quite as far. Four more, three, two notes. Hold it to the side and fold. Stretch it out. Other side. Stretch it out. And again. One more time. Okay, let's loosen up that lower back by rounding it. Round to three. And release. Again, round, two, three, and release. Don't arch, just round, two, three, back to neutral, and round, two, three. Think of tucking the pelvis under. Wait for the lower back. Any kind of just tighten, you want to stretch it out. Release it. Last one. And round two, three. Now round it up. Take it up. Shake out the hips. Shake it right, left, 
right, give me eight more. Take it side to side. Four more. Three. Let's go to a first tangle exercise. Contract. Two. Release. Two. Again, contract. Think of that pelvic floor. And again, contract. And release. One last time. Concentrate inside. Inside, rock the hips forward and back. Rock it forward. Release. Now, don't arch the back. Just release to a neutral position. And again. Four more. Four. And three. Two. Now, the arms come up straight in front of you. Take them up and down. And up and down. Nice and gentle. Okay, let's add a round upper back to this. Round the upper back. Extend through our shoulders. And really stretch for the one of the upper back. Now, the help is tilt with it. C shape. Think of a really, little big C shape. Four more. Last four. Three. Last two. Last one. Now, a little combination. Take it out, over, round it up, and lift again. Round and shoulders back. Round again. Take it round, shoulders back. Lift the ceiling last time. Down, back, into our C shape. Here you go. Take it out. As you bend forward, think about creating that C shape with your back. This will give you a great stretch through the upper and middle back. Now, don't hunch your shoulders, relax them. And make sure you're not leaning too far forward. You'll still get a great stretch through the back. Lift it up, drop it down, shoulder roll. Take it right, left, right, Left, really pull those shoulders back. Now lunge side side. Five, six, seven. On the elbow comes back. Far, reach it back out. Good time to loosen up the upper back. Get all the kinks out. Big arm circle. Same arm movement, but take it across the body and take it across. Back to lunge. Keep the knees behind the toes as you lunge. This will prevent any knee problems. Also, keep the knees and toes in alignment. Hold it here. Let's turn all the way around. Let's the heel into the floor. Reach the ceiling. Reach it up and down. Again, the arms don't go behind the head. Reach it forward and up. Now bend and straighten and bend the knee and straighten. Warming up the ankles. Up, down, and bend, straight. Now don't throw those arms behind the body, no arch in the back. Keep them in front of the head. Last step. Okay, let's just pull that calf stretch, press the heel into the floor, hips are pressing forward. Now let's switch and stretch out those hamstrings. Leaning forward, supporting yourself on your legs, leaning forward, chest and forward, abdominal out. Keep it there. Side to side. Here you go. Take it side to side. Back to our lunges. Okay, let's do that whole stretch here. So let's do the other side. Hold it here. Turn it around. It's important to keep those legs parallel. Lower, reach, lower. Now let's bend and straight. Here you go. Bend and straight. Really roll straight. Roll, push into the heel. Let's combine the two moves. Take it up, down, again. Just two more. Up, down, bend. Don't forget about your breathing. Last time. Let's just hold it here. Stretch out that calf. Heel down, and stretch out the hamstring. Okay, again, pointing yourself, reaching up, pretending like somebody's pulling you back here with the string and pulling you forward. Really getting a good lengthening move there. Back to side to side, and take it side. Okay, let's circle the wrist, and take it around. 
Now, this is a great exercise to get any swelling in your hand. Just clean them up and check them around both directions. Carpal tunnel affects about one third of all pregnant women. It involves swelling around the wrist, arms, and fingers, which makes the whole area feel numb and tingly. Okay, you should be feeling energized right about now. <laughs> Ready to get into our aerobic activity. So let's just swing it out. Oh, you did it. And let's get ready to go. Okay, let's get ready for some aerobics. Here we go, side to side, side to side. A spasm in the groin area may occur with any rapid twisting motion, especially with the hips. Now, this is normal, and it may come and go. The spasms occurring in the round ligaments that support and align the uterus. You can prevent that pulling sensation by not doing any sudden twisting movement. Take it forward. Two, three, slide it back. Slide it one. Two, three, take it forward again. Snap it. Two, three, and slide it back. Slide it. One, two, three. Now, one arm forward. Take it forward. And slide it back. Now, you don't have to drop those shoulders too low. Keep it back. Again, take it forward. Two, really reach up off that baby. One, two, three, one arm again. Now, two arms back. Really lift. Okay, getting up that heart rate slightly. And up. Two, three, now slide it back. And up. Two more sets all the way through. Forward and side to side. Both arms back. Let's just swing it out. Instead of swing a hip it. swing, if you're feeling uncomfortable in the hip or groin, try a simple heel shift from side to side. Great right to the side. And one, two, three, and cut. Really slide it out there. Use the legs and bend them. Really get into it. Last two. Let's add a new arm. The side and reach down. Reach. Okay, you feeling you need it all? Drop the arm. Now let's hold it right here. Take it side. Two, three. A little higher arm. Take it over and down. Over and down. You got it. Okay, into our trombone move. Take it down. Up. Now really play it. And back. Again. Down. Up. Last one. Back to back to side. Take it side. On to a little higher this time. Take it up and down and up and touch. Okay, really bend those knees. Okay, let's put the combo to the other side. Take it up and down. I want you to think about if you were in a band. Got my backup fingers back here. <laughs> we're playing that trombone, really pulling that arm. Side to side and shake it out. We're going to do the whole thing from the beginning. Starting one more to the front. Take it front. Bigger. Let's pick up the momentum we'll get a little bit. Front again. And take it front. Two. Three and slide it back. Big movements. We have a tendency to take big steps forward, small backs, so and really work it back. Two and back. Two, three. Last step forward. Take it forward. Two, three. Two arms back. Let's go right into the grapevine, taking it to the side. And one, two, three, and cut. You got it. Four more. Last four. Add a trombone arm, add an arm. So if you're feeling any kind of discomfort in your hand, you don't have to keep them flexed. Just keep them out there. Point it. Last two. Let's hold it here side to side. Really work those legs. Overhead and. Ready for trombone? Take it down. Up, down, up, down, up. Step. Okay, last 
two, back side to side, and take it side. Overhand, make the movement a little bigger. If you're feeling tired, just drop those arms. Just use the legs. Back to trombone, take it up. Down. <laughs> Two more. Side to side and shake it out. Okay, so let's get ready for our first heart rate check. Let's take a pulse here on your wrist or on your neck. Now count the number of pulses you feel in 10 seconds. Ready? Begin. Stop. Check the chart. Make sure you're not surpassing the number indicated for your age group. If you had a higher number than the one listed, please slow down. If your own number was lower, work a little harder, but only if you feel comfortable. We're not striving for a high intensity here. The goal is to keep your heart rates about 60 to 70 percent of maximum, never exceeding 140 beats per minute. We'll still get the cardiovascular benefits, but avoid the wear and tear of a high intensity workout. Okay, ready for aerobics two, seven and eight, and step, and step, <laughs> step, step. Give me four more, three, now the arms go down and up. Take it down all the way up, now lift that rib cage. Same move, but take it forward. Round it back, take it back to circle around, up and again. You can increase the intensity by making larger moves and stepping out more. If you find you're getting too winded, keep the arms below the shoulder level. And if you're entirely new to exercise, then keep the arms much lower or simply drop them all together. Down and up. Now, now round it back. Remember those circles? Right leg, here you go. And right, forward and back. Forward and back. Give me another four, and you really lift, bring it around. Lift, bring it around. Two more. Now last one, just come back to center, other side. Reach, back, reach, back. Give me four more. Reach it up. Three, two, come back to center. Now we're gonna do this other two. Other leg, work mouth on this side. Last two, come back to center and hold again. And back, really make a big movement. Come back to center, now count the two. Two, center, switch. Two's again. Okay, we're going right into a four step series. Okay, add some accent. Uh, uh. Get those shoulders. Go. One, two, three, and touch. Two more. We're starting a little combination. This time we're going to bring the knee up. Each time the intensity goes up a little higher. Uh. Okay, this time push the arms out. Uh. And exhale. Really extend those arms, knee comes up, do four more. Last two, then arms go up to the ceiling, and up and then out, up and out. Okay, last two, let's go back to the beginning, take it low, 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 and touch. This time we do four, give me two more. Then we bring up the knee, a little combination here. Now we press the arm. Last two. Now the arms go up to the ceiling and up and then out. Four more. Take it down, two, three, action, you got it. Uh. That your hips and your shoulders and your belly are all squared off, all in alignment. Push the four, push it. Last two, then the arms go to the ceiling. Take it up and out. Here we go. Last time, let's just do some knee side to side. 
you're having trouble lifting the knees, lift them a little lower or more to the side. Another eight. Last four. Let's bend the knee behind and take it down. Arms go to shoulder level. Up to the ceiling, up as high as you can go. Back to shoulder, four counts each way. Now count for two, here we go. Take it down for two. Okay, I want you to go up the side a little bit more. Reach those legs. Two again. Okay, single in all four directions. You got it. Big step, big step. Reach to the ceiling, and front again. You got the pattern. First it down. Really reach. Out. Really reach. Up. All the way through. Take it down. And out. And up. Last time, all the way through. Bring it down again. And just shake it out side to side. OK, give me four more. Five, six, travel across the floor and circle around and touch. Circle, yeah. Get it up there. So you move it across the floor. Okay, let's take that same move. But I want you to do is make it a little bit bigger. And here we go. Round and up. If you're uncomfortable with this little hop, try taking two little steps to the side. This is our last aerobic song. The pace will come down gradually, but continue to pace yourself as you need to. And out, and out, and out. Keep it going. Same legs, press the arms down. OK, let's take those two moves and combine them. Take them out, then down, and out. Really full range of motion. Press them out there, and bend and press. Take it side, down. OK, diagonal arms, and up. Four more. OK, give me another set of eight. Here you go. We're going to take the same move, and now just move it forward, and eight. Take it forward, two. Now use those other arms and come on back. It goes out and then down. Out, go forward again. Get out and down. Two more sets. Take it forward again. Take it back. Now, big movements. Last time, forward and up. Now, if you're getting tired, just remember to wrap those arms and take it back. Two counts to the side. Take it two and switch sides. Switch again. Keep it going. Press into it. Okay, now we're going to take this move and add another move. Take it across the floor this way. Out and down and out and touch. Two moves across the floor. Cross, and you press. Then you take it across the floor. Great. Press for two. Move it across the floor and up. And move it. Really move it. Last two. Okay, let's pick up the intensity with the knees. Two to the side. Each side, two. Pull those knees out to the side. Step touch to the side. Shake it out. Loosening up. Now we're going to take those two moves and we're going to put them together. So it's going to be two knees to the side. And then step side to side. Five, six. Seven, two knees. Take it two, side to side. Up, now side to side. Step and touch, step and touch. And knees come up for two. Step and touch again. Four more times. Bum, bum, bum. And up. Now last two. Last one. 
Okay, you earned it. Just march it out. Here you go. And march it. Step touch. Here you go to the side. Step touch. Step touch. So you clench those arms again. March. Step touch. Uh, touch it. Touch it. And again. Step touch. Step touch. And step it. Two. Three. And again. Last time. Take that leg forward and back. And take it forward. Back. Come back to center. Switch leg. Forward. Back. Come back to center. Switch leg. Add an arm. Up. And out. And up. Switch legs. Up and then out. Switch up. Switch again. Okay, give me one more. Each side. Up. Then out. Then up. Then switch. Side. Last one. Good. Let's shake it out. Let's cool it down just a bit. Bringing the heart rate back down. Two counts to the side. Same move. Okay, new arm movement. Take it over the shoulder. Take it up and back and up. Switch sides. Okay, now four counts. One, two, and three, fours again. One, two. Pull it out again. One, two. Uh, again. Almost there, you guys. Uh. Okay, a little half circle, quarter circle, facing forward. Press it. Press it. Press it. Now march it out. Your bicep curl. Now pump it out. Repeat it from the beginning. Circle. 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 And march. One. Two. Pump. Two more sets. Press. March. March. Pump it last. Set. You got it. Whoa. We're almost there. Start to get excited now. Lunch is coming. Walk it forward. Pull it down. Side to side. Really start to cool it down. Pull back the move. Nice and slow. Shake it out. Give me two more sets. Really cooling it down. Nice and slow. Pull your movement back. Little shoulder action. Last time, forward. Side to side. Okay, let's get ready to take your heart rate. Time to check your heart rate again. Let's find your pulse. Ready? Begin. Stop. If you need to, walk around a little more before going on to the next exercise. And now using the Borg scale, pick a number that best describes your level of intensity and place a zero after it. Remember, ACOG recommends no higher than 140 beats per minute. Now is a good time to drink some water and drain some too, if you need to. Just put your VCR on pause and join us in a minute for some standing leg work. Now I want you to start with feet shoulder width apart. Hands on the chair. Don't lean on the chair, though. Just use it for balance. And let's start with our calf raises. Here you go. Take it up and down, and up and down. Up on the toes. Bring it down. Up. Keep it going. Now think about your posture right now. Good time to think about it. Keep those shoulders back. Make sure the pelvis is tucked under so you're not arching that back. And make sure you're using that full foot to go up and down. Give me four more. Three more, last two, and now let's just stretch it out. Take that leg behind you. What I want you to do is keep this straight and press through those hips. Press them. Good, good man. Now bend the knee ever so slightly. Bend it in, bend it in, bend it in. Working the thighs now. Let's take it down, back up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Again, take it down and up. A thing to remember, though, very important point, the knee has to stay behind the shoelace for the toe here. If it's getting behind in front of the toe, I want you to take a bigger step back. So it looks like this. You just take a bigger step back and continue to move. Keep it going. Last one. And let's switch sides. Let's stretch the other leg out. 
really stretch into that heel, stretch into that heel, pressing those hips forward, and now bend that knee forward, and take it down and up, bend down. Now, one thing, range of motion. If you're finding that this is a little too fast, don't go down as far. But each time you come back up, think about squeezing that buttocks area. You're working those thighs and squeezing the buttocks. You guys are looking good. Okay. Now, why don't you give me a couple more here? How's it feeling? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go into a little squat. Your dad's feet shoulder width apart. What I want you to do is think about just tucking under and squatting. So take it down and up, bend down and press. Good. Each time come up, press that buttock. Really squeeze it. Next move is going to be an outer thigh move. We're going to lift the leg out to the side. Last one. Now let's go into the outer thigh. Here, take it down and out. Down, out. Now you want to make sure to close your point forward and you're keeping those legs square. You're not turning them out. You're keep, keeping them square so you're working the outer thigh and the gluteus medius. Going to the side. Another thing, posture, standing tall, keeping those shoulders back, chest upright, and not squunching into that side. Last one, let's do the same move, but take it back. Take it back and squeeze. And back and squeeze. Now notice what Patty's doing. She's leaning back with the heel each time. She's leaning back with the heel, not arching the back. So she's staying erect here and just isolating that buttocks muscle again. Taking it back, tighten. Little cheek, each time, make them tighter. Give me four more, three more, last two, last one. Okay, let's come to uh, pelvis tilt. And let's down and up, bend down and up, down, up, down, up, down, up. The thing about pelvic tilt is great. Baby sometimes starts to la land on the spine in a kind of uh, uncomfortable position. So this kind of rocks the baby around, gets her in the right place again. I say her because I know I'm having a little girl. Last two. Okay, it's a good time to think about a kegel. So let's turn out. And kegel. Two and release. Two and contract for two and release. Now go within, think, tighten. Tighten and release one more time. Think about it. Now for the plies. Take them down and up. And again, take them down and up. Now notice Allie, she got a big belly up here. You gotta really think about keeping that pelvis tucked under, taking that arch out of the back, keeping your shoulders relaxed. When you lower yourself in the plie, make sure you don't fully relax the pelvic floor muscle. If you feel too much pressure there, you may just want to do pelvic tilts instead of plies. Let's stretch the whole thing out. Okay, you deserve this. Let's take that one leg back and press into that heel. Stretching that calf. It's great to do if you have any cramping at night in the calf. To get out of bed and think about the stretch. A little deeper stretch is bending the knee while you keep that heel thrust into the floor. And hold it there. Okay, let's take it forward and stretch out the uh, quadricep. Now again, you want to get the hips pressed forward, and the idea is to bring that knee back and hips forward, not to sort of scrunch that leg into your buttocks. Okay, let's stretch out the hamstring. Keeping the chest high, abdominals tight, lengthening that back, and really leaning in, using your chair for support. Let's do the whole thing on the other side now. Take the other leg back, tuck into that heel, and now bend the knee, keeping that heel down. Okay, good. Let's stretch out the front of the leg. Grab onto that leg. If you're having a hard time reaching around for your foot, then just bend the knee to stretch the quadricep, like this. And let's finish those leg stretches off by just stretching out that hamstring. Okay, good. Supporting yourself on a chair. Let's walk away from the chair. See the shoulder width apart. Your knees are definitely bent. You lean forward. You kind of stretch out the back and shoulders. 
reaching, keeping that head in line with your body, keeping it between your shoulders, between your arms. And let's get ourselves back up by supporting yourself on one leg and then the other, and rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Good. And now let's get ready for some arm work. Shake it out. Now we're ready for arm work and upper body strengthening. If you've been using light weights, grab them. Otherwise, this is not the time to start working out with weights. Okay, let's get in position. What I want you to do, support yourself on your chair, feet apart. Now, make sure that you have your, your back straight, your knees are soft. Here we go, working the back. Bring it out to the side, then down, and side, and down. Now, we're working that shoulder as well as the back here. I really want you to think of pulling that shoulder blade in. It will give you that great posture. Two more. Last one, now pull it back. Pull it back and down and back and down. Back and the elbows a little closer to the body and we're working more of the lower back, the lat now. It's important to keep the abdominals up again. Okay, let's add a movement to that one more time and take it up, extend it back, bring it in, drop it down. So now what we've done is we've added that tricep motion. What we're working is the back of the arm, and that's the part that tends to get real wobbly. So you really want to concentrate on that extension. So you take it up, extend, lower, and down. Keep that elbow high right here. Extend, lower, and again. Take the elbow nice and high. Extend, lower. Give me one more. Last one. Good. And let's switch sides. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're pulling it out to the side. Here we go. And take it out and down and out. Now again, we're taking the elbow out to the side, trying to pull that shoulder blade in. Now it's important that if you've never used weights before, you don't start now. But if you've used weights, it's a real effective way to tone all these muscles. Give me one more, now take it back. Take it back and down, back and down, back, down. Again, really pull it and control that down. No, don't drop it down, control each motion. Give me one more, and now let's extend it back. Combination move into the tricep. So here, you can really sit right on Patty, because you're using the muscles right here. And each time, she really wants to hold the elbow up high. Good working, and now just give me four more. Now it's important to tend to lose that posture. Keep those abdominals up, that back straight, and that chest forward. And last two. Last one, all the way. Okay, good. Let's get our pillow. Now let's get comfortable. Use the pillow for support. And what I want you to do is get the uh, feet far enough apart so that you're comfortable. And we're going to be working that bicep. And what I want you to do is starting with that right arm and pull it up. Pull it right, down, and left, down, and both of them down. Now we're working the front of that arm, the bicep, right here. And you're going to notice as the little bit pulls up, you see it moving right there. It's real important that you work this muscle because just imagine in just a few months or a little bit down the road, you're going to have a baby that weighs anywhere from 6 to 10 pounds and you have to keep that baby up all the time. So you want to strengthen those muscles. And now let's move into the deltoid and take the right arm down, left, down, and then both. Great. Do it again. Now you really want to make sure that you bring those arms at the shoulder level, but it's really kind of important. You think about relaxing these neck muscles and really just focusing on the muscle group. Now we've talked about posture before. And it's a good time to think about it. Don't be slumping forward. Make sure you have those shoulders back. Give me one more set each side. Both of them together. Okay, great. Now you want to scoop back in your chair ever so slightly, positioning that pillow. Lean back. What you don't want, let me put your arm up here. You don't want an arch here. You want to make sure that you push back against that pillow. And now let's work the chest. Pull it across and back, and across and back, across, back, and across. Working the muscles all around the chest here. Each time you want to feel as if you're pressing them together. Pressing them together. Good. And good. Exhaling. Let's think about our breathing. As we do the effort, we exhale. So you exhale now and Last one. Great, let's shake it out. If you have some weights, let's drop those weights down. And now let's just stretch it out. 
And starting with the shoulders, stretch it back. Circle it around, back, again, circle, big circle. Last one, now let's add some arms, circle all the way back, feel it stretch. Don't forget to breathe, give me one last one. And take the fingers, intertwine the fingers, reach them up to the ceiling. And let's exhale and get ready for abdominals. During pregnancy, we modify our approach to abdominal work. On the one hand, we need strong abdominals to assist us in pushing during labor. They also support the expanding uterus and protect the lower back. A little bit of abdominal work, though, goes a long way, and we want to protect and support that area. The correct way to perform abdominal strengthening is still under a lot of discussion. We're going to show you the five most acceptable methods. Flat on your back, on two pillows, on your left side, with elbows on a chair, and on all fours. You and your physician should decide which is best for you. Choose the position in which you feel most comfortable and let's start with abdominal contractions. Inhale and as you exhale, contract your abdominal muscles. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale and contract. Our guideline for this tape is for those under four months, exercise on your back for under four minutes and only if you feel all right. Roll to your left side if you feel unusual. For those women four months pregnant and up, don't exercise on your back. Inhale, exhale and contract. And last one, inhale, exhale and contract. With the same breathing pattern, contract your abdominals and bring your chest toward your hips. Contract and release. Contract. If you're feeling too much pressure on your wrist in this position, you may want to place your elbows on a chair and continue to contract and release. If you're on your back, lift your shoulder blades off the floor. In any of the other positions, round your back as your abdominals contract. Contract it and now release it and contract and release. Next exercise, start with Kegel and pelvic tilt. Now contract the abdominals. Release the pelvic floor, and now release the abdominal contraction. Again, Kegel and pelvic tilt, contract the abdominals, release the pelvic floor, and release the abdominals. The purpose of this exercise is to learn control of the pelvic floor while contracting your abdominals. Again, contract the pelvic floor, contract the abdominals, release the pelvic floor, and release the abdominals. Kegel and pelvic tilt, contract the abdominals, release the pelvic floor, release the abdominals. Kegel and pelvic floor, contract the abdominals, release the pelvic floor, release the abdominals. Kegel, pelvic tilt, contract the abdominals, release the pelvic floor, release the abdominals. And one last time. Let's get ready to cool it down and stretch. We're gonna start on all fours. Let's start with a cat stretch. As you exhale, round the back up and feel a stretch through the lower, middle, and upper back and hold that stretch. Now release it back down to a neutral position, making sure not to arch the back, but just to a neutral position. And then again, round it up like a cat, dropping that head forward. And again, back to a neutral position. And round as you exhale, dropping the head and feeling the stretch through the back. And one last time, round. And release. Now, let's grab a couple pillows for support. And let's separate the legs. As we lean forward, supporting ourselves on the pillow and get ready for a couple kegels. So think about the elevator floor and think about contracting up and holding and release, and now again, contract up and hold it, and release it back down. Now, let's get ourselves on up again and slide the pillows to the side as we flip over and start to stretch out the sides and neck. I'd like you to support yourself on the left-hand side as you reach up and over and feeling that stretch through the entire side of your body. And now drop the head to the right side as you put a little pressure with your right hand while you maintain an erect posture. And again, on the other side, reach up and over, supporting yourself on the right-hand side 
as you reach up with the left hand toward the ceiling and then over slightly. Now let's stretch out the neck. It's important to keep that opposite shoulder down and you feel more of a stretch through that neck area. Okay, let's put the soles of the feet together and letting the knees drop open, let's round forward to stretch out again the neck, back, and legs. Let's extend the left leg and pull that right leg in and keeping a slight bend in that left leg just to protect the lower back. Hold a stretch there as you reach forward with the chest toward the toes. And again, let's do the same thing on the other side, pull in the left leg and extend the right leg, again reminding you to keep a slight bend in that leg. Let's take a deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, grab on underneath your legs, pulling your knees toward your armpits. Now this is a great stretch that will really help you out during the pushing stage of your labor. Hold that stretch. And again, you can make some minor adjustments by sliding a little closer toward your feet. Let's grab a pillow and get ready to relax. Relaxing is an art that we learn to do. The more you practice it, the quicker and easier you'll ease into a deep, relaxing, rejuvenating state. The next five minutes are devoted solely to you and your baby. Get in a comfortable, well-supported position, sitting in a chair or lying on your left-hand side. Now, the first few times you go through this guided relaxation, you may want to keep your eyes open just out of curiosity, but you'll probably get more out of it by eventually keeping your eyes closed. So let's begin. Start by taking some deep cleansing breaths. Inhale slowly and deeply, and take a second, then exhale fully. Take a little bit more time exhaling than inhaling. Now let's do it again. Inhale, and this time feel yourself relaxing as you exhale. Feel the muscles of your body letting go, relaxing and releasing the tensions they carry. Now continue breathing deeply and regularly. With each breath, you may feel the tensions of the body slowly fade away. The deep breaths we are taking are called cleansing breaths or releasing breaths. With enough practice, simply putting your focus on your breathing will help trigger a deep relaxation response. During childbirth, this deep breathing will signal your body to relax at the start of each contraction. Breathing and relaxing become synonymous for your mind and body. You're doing beautifully. Your breathing is becoming very soft, very gentle, and as rhythmic as a lullaby. Now continue breathing deeply and regularly. Imagine a kind of relaxation that starts in your toes that very gradually spreads throughout the muscles of your feet. Slowly begin to feel the relaxation spreading. Feel the muscles of your feet loosening up. Feel them getting more and more relaxed, getting limp. Now imagine that warm feeling like a healing light spreading slowly upward over your ankles, to the muscles of your legs. Feel your leg muscles begin to loosen up, getting very relaxed. Feel that gentle warmth spreading over your knees to the muscles of your thighs and hips, loosening those muscles, making them feel relaxed and limp. Now feel all the muscles of your legs completely relaxed, everything still and warm. Now bring your focus to your hips and buttocks. Relax your hips and buttocks and let any tension and fatigue simply fade out of the body. Let your hips release and sink into the chair or floor and feel the tension disappear with each deep cleansing breath. Relax the muscles of your lower back, your mid back, and slowly relax the tension across the upper back you may feel that you're slowly sinking into whatever is supporting you, that you've released any hold on your back and you're simply letting it get into a full deep rest and relaxation that your hardworking back deserves. Now bring that relaxation up from your back over and across the pelvis. Release the tension across your lower belly. 
let a deep warmth cover your entire pelvis. Allow that warmth and relaxation to rise up across your abdomen, bathing your baby in a warm, glowing light. Cradling your baby in the gently swaying rhythm of your inhale and exhale. Relax your abdomen and feel the relaxation spreading up over the rib cage. Move your attention now to your chest, deeply releasing the muscles of your chest as you inhale and exhale. Feeling the warmth cover the entire chest and belly. Now try to imagine the same process starting in your fingertips. Try to feel the relaxation spreading throughout all the muscles of your hands. Feel the muscles of your hands starting to loosen up. Feel the muscles relax as the hands go limp. Now keep breathing gently and deeply as you're cleansing your body of all the stress and tension when you slowly exhale. Imagine the relaxation you feel in your hands is spreading upward like a warm glow slowly over your wrists, upward slowly over the muscles of your forearms, making them feel completely relaxed. Feel the warm relaxation spreading and relaxing through the muscles of your upper arms and now into the shoulders. It feels wonderful to have this gently bathing warmth cover and caress your shoulders and muscles of your neck. Feel the muscles here gradually beginning to relax. With each exhale, you're releasing tension out of the muscle, out of your body. As you release the tension, the area feels warmer, looser, limp, and relaxed. As the relaxation spreads upward to the muscles of your neck, the tension leaves your neck. The muscles here relax with each cleansing breath. Feel it relax until the muscles of your neck are completely loose. Now feel the relaxation spreading upward over your face. Feel the face muscles let go. Your jaw muscles relax with each deep breath. Feel it spreading more and more, a warm glow rising upward over your temples. Relaxation is spreading easily, gently, to the muscles of your forehead, across your eyebrows, and over your eyelids. The tension has eased out of your face and you feel yourself resting quietly and comfortably. Breathe deeply and release any remaining tension from your whole body. Feel the soft quality of your breath and the gentle rhythm of your breathing. Your body is benefiting from all the loving devotion you've shown it here today. You are a strong, feminine, healthy woman. Your body is the perfect, beautiful vehicle supporting and nurturing a developing life. Your breathing is as rhythmic and caressing as an ancient lullaby, and your energy flows from a harmony and stillness that only a mother can know. Enjoy this glorious moment with your baby for as long as you'd like. When you rise, you'll have all the energy and focus you'll need to enjoy an active, wonderful day.